in the first minute and a half i would have chat on and i would tell bard hey man we need to push the lane constantly please be first in the lane we get the push and then we zone them and then i mute everyone so he okay. knows the game plan because when i ping him on the bot i need to know i, I need to know that he understands why i ping because i will tell him hey bro my champ is all about pushing please be in the lane with me so i can get the push and then we zone them that's what i will do and then i will mute after what's going on guys besides in today's video we're going to learn so much about adk in the very beginning positioning advanced tips on how to trade this could have been an amazing video this guy is a pretty good player in terms of how he plays mechanically so definitely it's going to be a, such a worth video to watch make sure you watch until the end and if you really want to get better than, as an adk make sure you subscribe to this channel so you make sure you don't miss out any bit of content from this adk specialized channel Check out the coaching session in the description if you want to improve 10 times faster. Okay, and then here, it's kind of obvious that they're going to stay here. Like, they will always do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right? why, like, I was being very cautious. <laughs> so, here you can be, like, there are many ways of playing this. The first way is don't face check. As in, just go towards the bar like this. Mm -hmm. And stay here and go like that. Right? Like, literally stay there. Yeah. Uh, that's like one way. Um, the second way is you go max range and you word. So you can word like now you can word, but you have to do it max range. Okay, you kind of did it. I could have worded like right there. Um, okay. So third option is since you see Bard is on the boat on there, why don't you just go from the river? You will never expect it to be here. And because they will never come from here, let's be honest. And if they stay yeah. here and you're here, it's like, what are they going to do? Yeah. You know? So it's like the very easy play here to make. Uh, but yeah, the rule of thumb, don't face check. Stay close to the wall. If Bard really does this, which is kind of annoying, I want to be honest, but it is what it is. You can't prevent this. Well, you, you can't pre you can prevent him roaming, yeah, but you can prevent you getting poked. Yeah. And as you can see, that yeah, damage of the, yeah. of the Soraka is very annoying and she gets healing. So... Now you need to get the push, try to queue. Towards the Soraka queue, that's around 7 to 8 seconds. You try to get the push, but yeah. So when I see this, it's already one. We didn't communicate to the support. He had no idea what to do in the lane. He went to mid lane. Two, we didn't even ping him to try to kind of make him feel like he needs to be bought. And yes, after two pings, if he doesn't follow, then I wouldn't keep pinging him. No, I would be like, okay, he doesn't listen to me. No problem. Let me play safe. Yes, but I would play safe after I already kind of told him, hey, bro, can you help me? And if he's like, yeah, no, I'm going to roam, then okay, yeah. no problem. Go roam, you're bored, I understand. I hate you, but I understand, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how okay. I have to, have to see, because he's bored. We all hate bard supports. Yeah, so, so weird. So now, not really much you can really do, because, I mean, I don't want to say you already lost the lane, but you already lost a lot of control. The only thing that kind of tells me that you're below diamond or below master, to be honest, is your positioning. So you're clicking is you're clicking back here where you should like first of all there is no threat pay attention to Ophelius he's clicking back Soraka mm -hmm. is also clicking back so right I here you shouldn't be clicking back you should click up but the thing is you shouldn't click up here because then Ophelius can go on you and you have you see how much HP you have and how much HP he has uh, plus the red gun he's he has healing as well I think he has fleet footwork as well. no he has PTA uh, he has more sustain than you anyway so best positioning here, here, here. Why? Is because he from from here, if Bard is hitting a Q somehow, you can drop a Q and you can do something. If he doesn't, if he is getting in danger, you can still stay here and be safe. Mm -hmm. So it's like, is he inting? No problem. I'm here. I can chunk Soraka as Bard is getting chunked. Is he faker and hits a Q? No problem. I can be here and I can I can follow. Am I gonna mm -hmm. be in danger here if he fucks it up here? No. I'm in danger of what? You're gonna be here. You can click back. So that's why this positioning is better. So. In today's session, Fabian, I will, uh, I will uh, categorize the mistakes uh, mm -hmm. from Iron to Challenger. So if I say this is a master mistake, you shouldn't care because you're not master. Master mistake means you are master, you're making this mistake, you are not going to climb out of master. That's it. If I say it's a gold mistake, that means it's a huge mistake we must fix. So this mistake right here, it's a diamond one mistake. It's not really okay. that... Maybe I shouldn't even tell you this, this mistake. It's, it, it is big, but if uh, I assume it's going to be a lot, like you're going to have other uh, I'm going to have worse, yeah. worse things. Yeah. So you woke up, try to go W. 
not bad to go W, I would personally go E because you're playing in Soraka so you can walk up right here and bait her to go in and you EQ at the same time. W e. is better if one, you can get the wave pushed in and you get the two invisible traps in the tower or two, mm -hmm. you have a support that can actually, you know, make sure you hit the traps for sure. Like a Morgana, Lax, Nautilus, you know, stuff like that. With the Bard, I mean, yeah, you can say that he's going to get the Q, but <laughs> it's not really, I wouldn't go double in this lane, especially because you can trade with EQ. Yeah, I was feeling like uh, I get the push here. And that's why I choose uh, the trap then. Yeah, well, you, even if you crash into the tower with this HP, it's very hard to pressure them. Plus, as you yeah. can see, Bard is low. So if you had the Karma here and she's full HP, maybe double is better because if you know you can crush, you can put the traps here and they can't farm. But, yeah. but, but, you know, in this case, but, it's but, uh, not so good. Uh, and be very careful because just pay attention to Soraka HP here. The moment she hits the Q, her Q, he's like 60, 70 healing. It's like half of a potion. So when you walk up to her like this, you need to really space down like that. And you see, unfortunately, it wasn't even close. Like, this is a Q and you're into it. So be very careful. Because I have to anticipate it more. If you do two auto attacks and she hits the Q, it's not worth. It's not <laughs> worth. Because she gets, like, the healing. She gets back the healing. Plus, yeah, he... Yeah. Boom. Plus Scorch, plus... Look at your HP. Here you push. You need to crush this. Uh, should ping here for I would push. ping, yes, that's fine. So far, your gameplay looks very solid the first two minutes. You made some some red flag mistakes, nothing concerning so far. And I really like your spacing. The only thing that I don't like here, the only thing that I don't like here is that you're not trying to approach this, this from the brush. Because from uh, here... The headshots. Yeah, well... I wouldn't necessarily like hit from the brush because they can see you. But for example, here, when you see he's pressuring you like this, no problem. Get into the brush and throw Q at him. Because if you throw Q now, he might dodge it. Boom. But if you throw it from mm. there, it's different. So he did, uh, he did outspace you a little bit. He does have a support that is like a fighting support. You have a roaming support. Not the yeah, ideal no, case. Hmm. Kind of fucked. Yeah, so you're kind of fucked. I also don't like the potion because potion okay i like that you didn't use it here because you only have one you don't want to use it right away and you see why i can yeah, recommend you anyways like why i recommend you fleet here in this lane it's gonna be so much easier okay i wouldn't use the potion now you're gonna level up you have biscuit this is good don't potion do not potion you have decent hp some life still on the on the plate, like, okay, right here, I would consider to potion, because I'm getting to a point where if I'm half HP, I can't pressure anymore. I can't, mm -hmm. I literally, because of my mm -hmm. HP, I can't pressure. Mm -hmm. And usually, pro players, when they use potion, they use potion based on the threat range. So if they have a Draven, you know, uh, Nautilus, they would use potion when they're like 70% HP. Because why? It's because if you're below, if you're like 60%, and they only knew you might die. Again, Soraka, Philios, I think that, you can probably use it at like 45% because there is no kill threat, right? Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. just, just poke. So I would more think about the jungle and the kill threat of the jungle. But the rule of thumb is worst case, 40, 45% potion. Uh, and 45. But, but if, I pu if I push, I mean, more risk and I should potion earlier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh. Like here, you can, you can just potion. You can just biscuit. I wouldn't waste the potion. That biscuit gives you missing health. Like here, right here, half HP, immediately potion. Because you mm -hmm. see, he's like so confident to trade because you have because this. Because I'm so low. Uh... Okay. So what we found is only emerald to diamond mistakes. I want to find bronze. I want to find bronze and I want to find gold. And then we're going to start typing. Okay, Q. Back off. The only thing so far that stands out that as, as a big mistake is the fact that it didn't respect Soraka as much as you should have. She yeah, the... uh, I really underestimated that. You underestimated a bit, okay. Then you stay into the tower, you Q, max range. Unfortunately, we're not we're playing weak side. Okay, the EQ combo, I like it. Do you know how to do the EW combo? The EW combo? Yes, do you know there is a EW combo as well? 
No. Okay. Let's uh, let me show you. I'll just show you so you don't waste uh, the time yeah. from the session. Then you practice this uh, when you get a chance. You have snow moon as well, or what skin is this one? Uh, this is DRX. DRX. Okay, DRX. Nice. Yeah. Is it the only one you have? Uh, resistance. What else do I have? Headhunter and the the, the one where you the pulse fire. Pulse? No, it's not pulse fire. Oh, okay. I see. You have a pool party? Uh, no. You want to gift it to me? Oh, pool party is the best. <laughs> I, had, I had birthday to, uh, yesterday. You you can give me a birthday gift. Uh, no worries. <laughs> no pool party. Come on. <laughs> That's the best skin. <laughs> okay, so you did. Let me see. So EQ is good, but you can do EW and EW at the same time. Look at this. See that? Uh -huh. so if someone is chasing you, you E. And double in front of you, like if it's like really, really close to you. Um, and you press first E then W, right? Yeah, you yeah. press E and then you reposition it to your cursor in front of you and you just W. So it's basically like I press E like this, but I need to reposition my cursor and double in front of me like this E, W, boom. Uh -huh, See? Uh -huh. And the closer the target is, the closer to you you have to trap. The more far, the more far you have to just the trap like that. I, this, I can't combine that with a Q, right? Uh, not really, not really. I mean, you can, you can do AEW, auto, and then Q, if you really want to do uh, that, or EW, and then Q. You can, but it's not going to be, like, as smooth as uh, 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 other combos. But you can do it, yes. Okay. So that is the combo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay, 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 okay. Good. It's coming. Beautiful trap, man. This is actually something that not many people do. It looks so easy, like oh yeah, trap on the stun. It's like bam, but people just don't do but it. I think really it well. didn't hit her, right? It was like too far behind. It really, yeah. yeah uh, sometimes it happens with things like Alistar and Leona and you know Bard because the CC is not as big as a you know maybe yeah, Lux Q yeah. or. So this happens. The the thing that you have to look in this kid situation like this is your positioning and your positioning was good. You're walking up as he's doing it. So one, the positioning is check. This is good. And two, I don't want to see any auto attacks. Like if he hits the stun, he meets his W. So pay attention to your champion. He hits the stun. And then you press W immediately. This, uh -huh, uh -huh. if you review your games like this, like first it was positioning, like you walking up as he's portaling, check. And then it was, he hits the stun, don't auto attack like a bronze player first, just drop the W. And so many cheating, cheating players, they actually don't do this pro properly. And this is good. So you played it good. What I don't like here is that you get, as you said, a bit tunnel vision. Because you W. That's good. Okay, now you should throw Q and then just run. Or you should throw Q and then just flash in. What you did here, because of course the Q is... It doesn't hit minions, so yeah, it's gonna hurt. It, it, it's gonna hurt. So yeah. you can commit on the flash here and then try to kill her. But the problem is that you didn't do E, you didn't do Q. You see that? A bit. Yeah, it was undecisive. Just tank the. But I no chickened problem. out here. Yeah, 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 it makes sense. But then I wanted to help him again. I think which was pretty stupid. No, it's fine. It's fine because you have the barrier. No, it's really good. Like right here, they don't really have many things. Soraka has no mana. Like, this is good. This is good. Let's say you didn't do Q, didn't do E, didn't do anything. No problem. Let, let's say I don't see this. Like, now, the affiliate range is like this. Bart is still going in, so you can, like, kind of hover him from behind. This is good. This is good. You still have barrier. He does his, his Q. And then here I would put the trap. Because mm -hmm. he's stunned. And then I would Q the Soraka for sure. And then you do E. You barrier. And you're not gonna die here, I hope. Okay. But this was clumsy. I think I should have kited here. Yes, yes, yes. I can see you were a bit lazy here. You're just standing still, you see? Because the Soraka actually went in Q range. She, she needs like 30 more mana to have Q. But it, uh, you couldn't know, you know? You couldn't know at that, that, that stage to, you know, know exactly how much mana she has. Maybe she levels up. Oh, she actually missed the Q. Okay, so you should have died here. <laughs> should have died here because you're not kiting. And I hope now you're going to push the wave. You should not tell your jungle to help you to push. Because you can push it by yourself. And the position of the wave that you have right here 
and the threat of enemy jungle like you're never gonna die here if you push this air recall therefore mm -hmm. it's fine that you didn't uh, call your jungle mm -hmm. for help mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay I would get refillable potion because it's a Soraka and it's a Filios and you have the cash. So why I've not? I've never bought refill potion. Yeah, it's very Easy. good. It's very good. It's very really? Good. Yeah, it's very, very good. Very good. Especially on, on champions where you want uh, extended lane where you push them, you sustain back, you throw Q at them, you poke them, they poke you, you know? Okay, okay. If you have the cash. You you thought it's, oh, I play jungle, of course I buy refillable potion, but not on ADK, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yes, no worries. Like, never, man. Never. No worries, no worries. Okay, okay, so I can do that against poke, poke lanes. Yes, definitely. Even even against melee champions, because majority of the cases, even a Nautilus, he goes in, he chunks you massively, and then he the second time he goes in, he just one shots you. Uh, oh. It is very rare. Okay, maybe after level 5, level 6, I wouldn't buy the field potion against a melee, because then you just get one shot in that case from a hook. But pre-level 6, I think it's a very good quality value for, you know, you, you, you get a lot for what you pay for. The they refill. Okay. Let's see. Can you do something there? Of course, not moving is not good here. Well, you, do, you can move because the wave is in the tower. Like, mm -hmm. not now. Like, now you can start moving. Because this wave is still not pushed. You should, of course, check the wave. I see you do not. You check it. Because you see it on the minimap, but I don't know, is that wave into the tower? Is he slow pushing? Is he fast pushing? Is he gonna crash this wave? We don't know unless you're looking there. Because this will depend on how fast he can push. And we don't know if he has Inferno, more Gravity, more... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No idea what guns he has, this guy. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, I guess I don't look. Yeah, no, okay, no. now you see the wave, and now unfortunately we oh, well, we just let it to come into us. That's fine. And the combo here was absolutely beautiful. Auto, EQ, boom, he greeted. And he also stepped into the trap. Beautiful. I guess the RX Caitlyn is better than I thought. <laughs> and then Q. Okay. Four for the die. Very good. Very, very good. What can he do better? This is a master mistake that I'm going to show you. Uh... So here, he's low, you know he's low, Bard is coming to you, you know he's gonna go recall. So right now, what I would do, I would walk up a little bit, I would walk, like especially after Saka is there, I would go here and I would throw the Q in the brush. Because mm. you're gonna see, you're gonna stop his recall, and then after he stop, of course, as you're doing that, don't miss the minions. Like, click here, last hit, click here, last hit, and then Q in the brush, and then keep last hitting, you're gonna stop him, and then you can either push the wave and Bard is there, or you can even slow push and you're, you're going to have him in the lane phase. Stopping the recalls, again, as I said, it's a high diamond to low yeah. master mistake. But, but that's insane, yeah. If, yeah, if you do that, like... it's just <laughs> GG. So it's not, again, something concerning. Not not something that I'll say, okay, this is why we're stuck. Yeah, probably that's more like in the mid game. Let's see, then you recall. Very good that you didn't take the plate because Aphelios is pretty soon there. And here you do get the... Uh, the dagger, okay. Okay, yes, that's fine. Because you get berserks, of course. Again, you're not mm -hmm. looking at the wave, as you can see. Because you need to know, do they have a yeah, big I was wave? Like, uh, Soraka and the Philios are there. I saw them on the minimap. And I thought like, they're at least going to slow push. But I should have looked. Yeah, to just see, because you don't know. You need to know how big is the wave. Because maybe they can go for a dive. There is a, there is a difference if they have one wave, or if they have three. Because mm -hmm. if they can't re dive with one wave. Okay, this is good. So you're basically just suffering in the lane. In the <laughs> this is this is fine. This is all good. This is normal. So lane phase, how you played from Iron Four to Emerald, I'll probably give you something like Emerald Two, I think, for the mm -hmm. lane phase. Let's see. They're there. You auto auto. Ah, okay. I should have slayed the trap under him. Yeah, it's just trap because the ulti, it's in, in, anyway, it's not gonna kill her really, especially on this HP. So you have Dirk and Pickaxe is probably gonna do this. Okay, not even that. This, it's gonna do it, sure. But then you can't really kill her. So you should put the trap and then W and then Q because your Q is gonna come soon. You chunk him and you're happy with that. Okay. E. At least he didn't get hit by the. Barrier, 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 okay. 
Okay. Push the wave. Okay, in this case, you need hell to push. <laughs> you see, it's not... Okay, in the last case, yeah. you were also low, but the wave will position. So there are two things that you need to think. The question is, how big is the chances, ch the chance of me dying here to push this wave? And you need to take a look at one, the HP that you have, two, the position of the wave, and three, the type of the jungle that they have. Back then, I told you to not call your Nidalee because the wave was close to your tower. You had mana, you push it, you back. In this case, the position is the middle. You have one HP. Vision on the river, absolutely zero. So this is why the chances of you dying here is high. Therefore, you should ask at least jungle, at least uh, support, if not jungle too, because he's also low. But I would ask like here, killed. I would push the ding ding, the push ping. And then I would get some help. Let's see if you die here. Yes, very greedy, very greedy. <laughs> no problem. We didn't have better good map awareness. No worries. Can happen. The thing that I didn't like is here. We see smolder. Yeah, okay. Like, yeah. And the thing is, right here, the next wave just spawned. So you don't need to kill these minions. If you just kill the melees, this minion is going to crush by itself. Kill the minions and kill this minion uh, as well. Yeah, always fully push. Right? Because in <laughs> general, in general, you have to kill all of the minions. If you have the HP, all the minions. The mana, there is no threat. Kill all the minions. It's not the case here. Killing the melees and just leaving this, usually it's going to crush. But if you want to be 100% sure, kill this minions and a caster. Especially given the position of, of the next wave, you will always crush this if you do that. And you can do this not staying here and hitting this minion, but staying here and hitting this minion. And you can always deposition it in the tower. Because look, now, you would, obviously, you would be out now. Because Smolder comes behind. Imagine, imagine you would be with Needley right there. And you can escape because you have flesh. Ah, okay, you're greedy. Yeah, I was just accepting defeat here then. Yeah, you should, you should go, you should kite him. Ish. Just, just make him sweat. Mid, he's losing plates. Uh, so use E, go here, then you can go like that. Sure. Uh, uh, uh. If you had barrier, you can go like this because you can barrier and, and Italy can heal you. But uh, yeah, the heal is not so big. Yeah, I want, I wanted to escape maybe with flash from bush to bush and then E. I see. See. But uh, yeah, it was yeah. too slow. Yeah, in, in, in that case, it's uh, look at your HP. Like the flash is not gonna help you here. Mm -mm. Okay, 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 okay. So I didn't find anything like bronze mistake. I wanna find that. Let's see. I, I hope we don't find this, and it's gonna be just this emerald mistakes, and these emerald mistakes are holding you back. The positioning, you know, the pinging, the support, the communication, field potion. I mean, it's. it's it's just, it's something to work on at least. Yes. We'll see. We'll see. Let's see. This is just the beginning. Let's see. Okay. okay I want to see what is going on here. So, so you go to the lane. Jungle is petting bot. He worded. Okay, a bit autopilot with this word. I, 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 so right now you see Bard. He got vision. They have a smolder mid lane. Like now you don't yes, actually need that won't word. Be here. Uh, Chugger won't be here. Right. And and especially mm. with needly positioning right there, this word is so useless. You could have actually just take a bit of control on this brush with the pink word. Because you have no control into the brushes. They might just have words there. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look what you did here. You do walk up here. Hmm. I wanted to say that you played perfectly, but this is another like diamond mistake. You Q, and here you kind of want to follow, but you can't because it's so far and you have this minion. So I agree with you taking the minions and then move because it's not like if, it, if the fight was right here, you can give up some minions. But since the fight is there, take the minions, but be here. Be here, be here. Kite mm -hmm. like that. Take the minion and go like that because look at your movement right now. Where are you going? Should have been here. You can do the same thing from here. Like, it was a bit bad executed. Yeah, it's uh, like one second earlier to the fight. Yeah. Yeah, because here you could have Q. Imagine you're not here, you're here. You have yeah. range for the Q and then you can R. 
for it. Yeah, and, and then I hit the minions because I felt like, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna reach him in time. Yeah, exactly. There, so yeah. it's a it's a low diamond mistake. It's not a yeah. big mistake, but it can be, can be. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I see. You were a bit, uh, a bit scared here. Yeah, definitely. Since he hits the bar, the the R, you can click here and Q out Q first. And then if she's hit, then you can ulti. Because now you're very close to the to the guy. You're, you're pretty close to the guy. You can click here, and if you see she's there, then you can ulti because you don't have range for the Q. But now, just felt like uh, you're very greedy with the. Uh, just just walk up auto attack. Like you don't need to ulti if you have range for the Q in a situation like this. Then she dies. Okay. Didn't really move in between auto attacks and in between abilities here. You trap, you auto, you stand still, you Q, you stand still, you walk up. So it has a bit of a robotic movement right here. I see, I see, I see. So how Yeah, and, and I was swapping targets, I guess. Like here, the first thing that you should do, okay, okay, you should put this trap. I mean, yeah, I mean, you're never gonna hit this trap, but it's good that you try it. You know, you're kind of testing their hand in the mm. way, in a way. I like that. What I don't like is that, like here, you don't want to trade with a field. It's just EQ, EQ him, boom, and then what is he gonna do? You're gonna be here, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know. And then it's so easy because now you're like taking so much damage here, and then he has to stop target, but it's like kind of have to stop target because if you just try to go on the field, you're going to be like there. So smaller is going to kill you. So it all started with the... I should have comboed the field. Should have combo, yeah. And then, yeah. And, then, and then you should just be very patient because you are rushing so hard here. Like look at the Q cooldown right here. Four, three, two, one. Don't flash, don't flash, don't flash. Don't, because the Q, Uga Booga, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt. And then you can flash auto attack after if you need to because they're... like why did you flash from here when you have range for the Q and you can just hit a smolder and kill Aphelios after? You I probably played it the worst way you could have played it here. And then yeah, maybe you were scared of Elise and everything, but yeah, imagine you Q, then if you need to flash, flash over the wall, you kill them both, and then you suicide to the tower or something. Yeah, that that was pretty bad. Yeah.